Outside of Washington, the Montgomery County, Maryland bomb squad has a small fleet of remotely operated robots. This is our largest uh, robot. It has a ro it's basically a front end loader. From very big to very small, equipped with cameras, microphones, climbing tracks, claws, whatever's needed. Anything a human can do, we think our robotics are capable of doing. They have different kinds of clasps and things that they can pick up. We can pick up a small beaker of unstable chemicals, let's say, or we can pick up a big box or open a car door. These robots defuse bombs. They give police a closer look at an active crime scene. And now? It passes unanimously. San Francisco's police force will have the ability to use them as potential lethal force options. But that decision wasn't made lightly. We heard passionate arguments and clarifications coming from both sides. Of course, I don't want any officer uh, to, 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 to lose their life. But I, I think that this is that 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 the, the the scenarios that we're using are are hypotheticals to br to bring up fear. These are not autonomous robots. No one's tapping in. These are these are trained police officers that would utilize a robot. A new state law now requires law enforcement to have public discussions when acquiring and utilizing military grade weapons. That's what happened here. And the plan passed only after an amendment clarifies robots would only be used as a lethal option after the use of alternative force and de-escalation tactics or if police determine they are not able to subdue the threat safely after evaluating other options. Supervisor Shaman Walton was one of three against the plan. In a statement, he wrote in part, this is not in line with making changes to address the disproportionate number of black people and people of color that are typically on the receiving end when police weapons are utilized. Some wild moments at a golf course in southern Dallas this afternoon. Yeah, nearly seven hour standoff came to a dramatic end, but it took the police robot to flush the suspect out. Sydney Person is live near Jim Miller Road to bring us up to speed. Hey Chris, good evening. So we just learned the suspect's name here is Kevin Knowles. He is 31 years old and was taken into custody shortly after four this afternoon. You can watch here for yourself as officers put him on a stretcher and load him in the back of an ambulance. We also just learned here in the last several minutes, he did go to a local hospital as a precaution though. Police say he was not injured, nor were any officers or bystanders. Now I want you to look at this closely. This is the moment Knowles was finally arrested. You see a police robot go into the culvert he'd been in for those hours and fire tear gas. You see him come out as officers swarm him and take him finally into custody. This was the end, as you mentioned, of several hours of commotion as officers tried everything to get him to surrender. Listen here. So as you just heard, we heard popping sounds, banging sounds, watched smoke come out of that drainage area, that ditch where that standoff took place. So how did Knowles get there in the first place? Well, police say around 10 a.m. they noticed his car with stolen plates about five miles from here. Officers say when they pursued, he fled and crashed his car, got out, ran for the woods and at some point fired shots. Sources tell WFAA Knowles was out on federal probation for unlawful possession of a firearm. Dallas police, though, will still not say who or what he fired at, but the course manager here told us Knowles fired at a group of golfers. I've heard that uh, there was a guy that got into a car accident on Bruton, headed down to the golf course, um, met up with a group of our senior golfers and uh, ended up threatening them and, and possibly shooting shots towards their direction and taking their golf cart. And so we know that as all of this unfolded for those several hours, dozens of golfers were stuck here in the clubhouse. I just spoke to one of those golfers and get this. She is only 14 years old. I will have her story, what she saw, what she heard, and what she learned coming up tonight, new at 10. Izzy. Brain time. Congratulations. You made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already.
Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now, back to the video. Military experts have been saying for years that over the next 10 to 20 years, most militaries will become 40 to 50% robotic. While many law enforcement police departments feel they need to move in the same direction. So the question is, can it be justified? Is it the right move? Or is it just an act of over-militarized power? Official told the Times criticism from the public about the robot representing over -militariz militarization and how low income communities or police led the department to end its contract early. NASA officially confirmed an alien ship detected in the solar system not alone in the universe. To fund the police critics sounded off on social media, portraying Digidog as a frightening instance of over militarized police and with a $75,000 price tag, wasteful. They got military gear, and now they got robot dogs in the streets, further oppressing us with robots now. It's said that robots will be smarter than humans by 2029. But what does that really mean? Surely robots are not conscious and have no emotions like humans. That being said, couldn't that be a good thing? Let's say if humans were to allow an AI takeover of some sort within law enforcement, in our police departments, for instance, traffic stops, or even just random walking block patrol. Of course, surely a scenario where machines replace humans as a dominant intelligence on our planet would be something out of a sci-fi scenario and very unlikely. But it's not because it couldn't be done, but because humans would never allow it to happen. But robot animals, however, in cases of espionage, disarming of bombs, hostage situations, or over-militarization is very real. In the case of Spot, the robot with the NYPD in New York, while places like Singapore, Hawaii, and California have embraced robot patrol in the downtown areas, parks, parking lots, airports, and even malls with robot patrol surveillance bots built not to exactly enforce the law, but rather used as security, police presence, and surveillance. And if you're seeing this footage for the first time, it's probably kind of comical. I know when I first saw the footage, I thought it was really funny because they don't really look intimidating at all. But that itself could be what is actually frightening. The diabolical plan to introduce surveillance security robots to the public and make them look cute and make them look funny. Then next thing you know, they're carrying guns. And the thing is, the technology and AI is already out there. But are we really ready to live in a modern real day sci-fi? And maybe the technology is just better left for the movies. For instance, Disney's stunt robot, which is capable of high fly acrobatics and perfect landings every single time, being autonomous and self-correcting. The thought of living in a world with real autonomous humanoid robots that carry guns is all very scary. Even if the scenario was like, the Sony Pictures movie Chappie and police robots were good guys? What would stop criminals who had realized they were no match for the robot law enforcement to not create their own antagonist, the villain robots? Surely that scenario would be 2050 and a post-apocalyptic scenario where a full-out robot war has destroyed what's left of the downtown cities and landscapes. Or maybe we're just looking too far into it. And surveillance patrol robots is as far as it goes. NASA officially confirmed an alien ship detected in the solar system not alone in the universe. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video 
and want to watch more videos like it, make sure to check out all my other videos. And as always, as mentioned, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. Till next time, catch you in the next one.